Hi, I'm Rockstar Sissy. I'm in my 30s. I'm from New York City and my current occupation is I'm an actress and a musician. I'm going to play two songs for you and I'll edit them down to a minute apiece. It's called Big Bubble. a hit maker. I have 20 original songs that I've written and each of them is awesome. I started playing out when I had about 12 songs written. I started playing uh, the open mics, then I went to the gay bars. The gay bars were great because I found my sense of style there. I, I, when, I, when I'd play other places I'd realize, my gosh, the, the lights are so dark you can't even see me. Look at these gay bars, you can see the people, they're in glitter, they're in sequins, they're in sparkles, and I loved it. So no matter how dark a place is, with the, the non-light, if a place doesn't have lights, someone will always see me because I'm glittery and I have a glitter guitar and I'm endorsed by Daisy Rock Guitars and um, I play a Daisy Rock guitar, guitar for girls. I'm, I'm a girly guitar player, I guess. I've come to learn that it takes a network or a group of people to get one person to make it. You have an agent, a manager, a casting director, a friend, a friend of a friend, a family member, or numerous family members and numerous friends and families and corporations and whatnot that help some one person financially make it. When you think of all the celebrities, they didn't just make it on their own. They had a bunch of people working behind them to help them get where they wanted to be. Two things happened that made me want to play guitar again and I picked it up and began with children's songs and then um, two years into playing all the songs I wanted to play when I was a kid, a song poofed out that I wrote and they've been poofing out ever since and I will poof out the songs forever from now on. Poof. All I do all day is do work that's creative. I am performing out whenever possible. I've even done karaoke. I pursue casting notices every day for bands, for musicians, for singers, for acting. It's a lifetime commitment to do an entertainment job. I am constantly being creative 24 hours a day. Even when I sleep, I'm creative because my dreams are creative or I'm thinking about something creative while I'm dreaming. Anyone you ask, you ask anybody about Rockstar Sissy, 
or my real name is Catherine Taormina, you ask anybody about Catherine Taormina and they will tell you that I am tireless, that I, I am driven, I am extremely creative, I'm wild. I was a little bit more wild probably a little younger, but always in a funny way. Like I'm a, I'm a dare kind of person. Like if somebody says, I dare you to hula hoop on the table at a bar in front of all these people or in a fancy restaurant, I'll take the dare just because it's fun. I'm doing an art show next week and I'm making my whole apartment available for people to come in and see all my artwork that I have on the walls because I keep making it. I keep making art, I keep making music, I keep making happiness and I keep having fun. A major issue that has affected my life has been cancer. I had cancer two years ago. I'm coming up to my second year cancer anniversary. I had Hodgkin's lymphoma and that required six months of chemotherapy treatment, which was uh, an extremely horrific experience. I, the, the cancer will be with me forever as far as the worry. I have to go for tests uh, periodically to make sure that it's no longer in my system. This has not slowed me down from being creative and thank God, playing my guitar and writing songs was one of the things that I could do during treatment. There were things that I couldn't do that I loved doing, which was like knitting and crocheting. I couldn't do any tedious task. I couldn't be on the computer for very long without getting going crazier or whatever. Um, a sacrifice I've made in my life, one of the greatest is, is actually being an artist. While I see people my own age successful financially in, in in their lives. I, I am not. I am living in a rent subsidized apartment, living paycheck to paycheck on unemployment, um, and this has been my life, constantly searching for the next job every day. I found out about hit makers. I am a hit maker already. I have 20 hit songs, and they're hits. They're not just foo foo songs. Uh, they're great songs. People love dancing to them and bopping their heads, and I love when people have fun. My whole quest in life is to have fun, especially after cancer. That really made me realize that I have to have fun in my life. One of the greatest achievements within this entertainment business that I've had is having a principal role in the movie The Thing About My Folks, which starred Peter Falk, Paul Reiser, Elizabeth Perkins, and Olympia Dukakis, and I played Olympia Dukakis as a younger woman. That was filmed in 2003. So I'm long overdue for another greatest achievement within the entertainment business. I also speak fluent Italian. Uh, you might not know that by looking at me because I'm speaking English right now. I have not had any musical contracts as of yet. I want to be on the show. I, I will be an asset to the show. I can get along with people. I cannot get along with people. <laughs> Depends who the people are. People have to be professional. People have to be just as driven as I am. People have to not be slackers. People have to put in just as much as I put in, and I put in a lot. I put in my life, my heart, my soul, everything, my time. My time is money. My time is very expensive. So that's who I am. I'm Rockstar Sissy, and I'm a hit maker.